It's more than a sport. Football is a way of life in Senegal. Drawn in the sand is their pitch. No need for shoes or shin guards. The game is played barefoot from the heart. That's how it started for Senegalese striker Sadio Mane. For these fans, Mane is the main reason for Liverpool football club's return to glory. Sans Sadio, you are a defy uh, Liverpool. Without Mane, Liverpool wouldn't be where they are. He has this ability to get his teammates to multiply their efforts. Everybody gives their best fight. Without Mane, there is no Liverpool. After Manchester City lost against Chelsea in June, Mane's team won the Premier League Championship, bringing the trophy to Anfield after 30 years. For me, I think it's no way to describe how happy I am. So and I think everybody was, everybody's just happy. Deep in southern Senegal's Bambali village is where Sadio Mane trained as a child. Sadio would come here absolutely every day, escaping from school to come here and train, every single day. This is the reason why he didn't go very far at school, because he was always here. Sadio was the shy village boy that dreamt big when he came to train at Génération Foot, an academy owned by the French football club Metz. The coaches remember him as an awkward teenager that would keep to himself. Now most of those currently in the academy want to follow in Mane's footsteps. He came back to give the young ones advice and I remember him saying the only regret is to not have continued his studies so he told the students never let go of school. We're proud of him and the example that he's giving. And yet his parents didn't want him to play football. He was just seven years old when his father died. It was his uncles that acted as father figures and they were imams at a local mosque like this one. They made education a priority, not running after football. But look at him now. With his wealth, Mane is financing the building of the village mosque and new classrooms for the local high school he left behind. Mane is now revered by an entire nation and beyond. For a generation, he's already a legend. And while there is a bit of Senegal in Liverpool. With the club's recent success, it seems there's now a bit of Liverpool on the beaches of Senegal. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.